What's up, everybody? It's Draymond Green. Make sure you subscribe to the Volumes YouTube channel below so you don't miss any more of this great content going forward. At the time that you came to Michigan State, Michigan State wasn't the place to be. And we know everybody was going to the other school. What, what was it that brought you here to say, no, nah, I'm going to go do this, as opposed to just jumping on board? It's right after the 5-5. Five, five, and yeah, you say, no, nah, I'm going to go do this. What, what was it that brought you here? First of all, like, um, they're not trying to be airing, but I believed in me. You know what I mean? I wasn't a cat to go just jump on somebody else's team or ride somebody else's coattail. I believed in me, first of all. And, you know, the way Coach Izzo recruited me, man, he and he inspired me so much because a lot of the other coaches was kind of like used car salesmen, man. They were just selling you whatever you wanted to hear. But he was so real. I mean, he recruit, he was at everything. You know, he was at my football games, basketball games, workouts, everything. He was there every day and telling me, you know, we're going to win a national championship. And I believed him, you know, and a lot of people thought I was crazy to come to Michigan State because it was like, honestly, who you going to pass the ball to? You know, Michigan did have a lot of great players or whatever it was, but I believed in me, man, and I, and I didn't want the easy route. You know, why not go to Michigan State and do something special? You know, you can you can ride somebody else's coattail and, or just fit in. Nah, I mean, I believed in me so much, I say, hell, why not go to Michigan State and, and, and do something great? You know what I mean? So I, I, I believed in me. I bet on myself. And, and, you know, coming here, what was that What was that journey like? Because it, it, it wasn't all peaches <laughs> from the beginning. Nah. You know, I think people see the end, and it's like, oh, man, them guys were that. You know, you see 99 Final Four, you see 2000 National Championship, and you get it twisted. But what was it like in the beginning coming to, to really light that torch? It was different, man. Um, and a lot of people don't know, too, I broke my back right before I got here. So before I got, when I got to Michigan State, I was never the athlete. I was. But when I got on campus, one thing I wanted to change was the mentality. And it was something simple as like an open gym. Like, to me, if you're taking score, there's a winner and there's a loser. You know what I mean? And that, that got to mean something, just an open gym game. And I started saying, well, we're going to keep track of wins and losses because everybody, some cats would come in here just to get a sweat, you know, get up and down. I said, nah, they taking score. That means somebody got to lose. All right. So I don't want to be on that end. So what we're going to do is start keeping track of the wins and losses. And what that did is start getting pride. That brought pride to winning an open gym game with nobody here, no, no sports writers, no crowd. We brought pride in just that. I wanted to brag that night that I won more games than you. Okay? So that mentality started to really get the thing going. You know what I mean? So that's what it was. I, my first job was to change the mentality of people that was okay with losing. I wasn't okay with that. You know, and it was two people that wasn't okay with losing. That was me and Coach Izzo. He was wired the same way. So it was easy. We, we was like tip for tat. We had each other's back. But we was the only two at that point that was wired that way. But like I said, it was, it was, it was changing the mindset. And then at that point, you know, the open gym and making that important, winning. All right. Then the next thing was scheduling. You know, Coach, line them up. Let's go play all them dudes they saying good. All these programs that they say in the top. Let's go play them. Line them up. So, so it's your fault we end up with these fucked up ass <laughs> schedules every year. I had a little it's bit of fault. something to do with that. It's, it's your fault. Hey, but Coach, that one thing he, that's my man, because one thing he did say, he said, hey, hey, you better get them, you better, I ain't gonna say the words he said, but you better get them in the gym. Okay, you wanna play these guys? Well, you better get them in the gym so we'll be ready. I said, line them up. We'll be ready. So that was the mindset. We ain't back. We ain't dug it from nobody. We, we want the smoke. Absolutely. Yes, sir. You come here and, you know, Mo P was already here. Mm -hmm. Mo P, it's a year older than you. But no no disrespect to Mo P. That's, that's one of my big bros, too. Mm -hmm. But the gravity that you pulled when you decided to come here, then you get Charlie. And then it's this whole Flintstone thing. You got a Tone Smith here. Robert in football. Then it's this whole Flintstone thing. Was that, did, is that what you saw this becoming? Like, yo, I want to make this like a Flint thing. I want to make this our school. Because for me, growing up and watching y'all, Michigan State was just all about the Flintstones. It, it, and then every, then Jay Rich came here from Saginaw. My baby. But Michigan State was, it was, it was almost like it was Flint schools. Was that your vision or, or did it just kind of roll out that way? Yeah, it, it kind of just rolled out that way. And I, you know, I'm Flintstone to the core. I ain't ducking that. But 
I was all about the team. You know, people made a big, a big deal. The national media made a big deal because that is something unique. You got four cats from one city, that small city, that come to a major university and make the noise we were making. That was kind of cool. But, man, we were all about the team. And I made sure they knew that. I, 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 I would say it all the time. Hey, we ain't just, this is a team. All right? But I will pull them to the side every now and then and say, hey, baby, you know, everybody from the, from the crib watching these games, so we got to represent. But I made sure the whole team knew, man, this is a team thing, man. You know what I mean? Like, we don't get it done without nobody. Everybody play a role. I'm talking about from the managers to, to, to the walk-ons to whoever. Everybody play a piece in this. So that was kind of cool, you know what I mean, being from one city. You know, and them was my boys. We grew up playing together and stuff. But... Man, that, that kind of just wrote, it kind of just happened to be honest because you know I'm all about everybody. It was all about the team here at Michigan State.